Happy July 4th, everyone! Welcome back to Green Water Fish. So today I'll be talking about how to cull your goldfish fry. And I know a lot of people probably don't know what cull means. Cull basically means that you're getting rid of the fish that don't have the trait that you want and only leave the ones with desirable traits behind so that you can maximize your resources and make sure that the good quality goldfish babies are getting the good, qual good quality care, good quality food, and um, just make sure that they grow better, I guess. So in this episode, I'll be talking about what are some of the desirable traits and what are some of the non-desirable traits. So let's begin. So basically, there are two ways of calling. The first way is viewing the fish from top. This way you can see the tail very well. Um, basically, if you look at this fish in the middle of the screen, the tail is not very widespread. It's also a little bit asymmetric. So that would be a cold fish. In the previous fish that I was following, that tail was basically tucked together and not even widespread at all. That would not be a desirable trait either. Now let's look at this fish. So this fish is, as you can see compared to the rest of the group, it's a lot smaller. Even though the fish has a pretty good tail, um, but in general the fish is just a lot smaller, it's not catching up to the group. We call it a runt. So you will hope that, you know, after a couple of months the fish will catch on, but the reality is they don't. So after, you know, two or three weeks and you can see a big difference between the runt fish and the rest of the group and you should call these fish because they probably have some issue with their development they're just not growing even though you're feeding them just as well as the rest of the group so i would just remove this fish as well um and then if you look at this one this fish has a pretty good tail i would say it's pretty widespread um so this fish will be a keeper and let's see and now this fish in the middle. That will be a keeper too. Now this one. This one has a really interesting color. It's pretty much pale in the background and I really like it. But the thing is that the tail is a little bit asymmetric. It's um, not spreading out. Although it's the fish is growing really well, I probably wouldn't keep it. So timing-wise, um, usually um, people will start calling um, starting at one week, but it's a little bit harder to call at one week because you can't really see that well at that time. But starting the, starting from the second week, you should definitely start calling, especially when you have limited space. For me, I am pretty lucky because well, lucky or unlucky because my fish basically spawned in the main tank and I came home one day and then saw all of my fish babies were swimming around in the tank after they got hatched and I had to rescue them. So I only got 11 fries from the main tank. The rest of them probably got eaten or the eggs just got eaten before they were even hatched. So I don't have any space issue. That's why I waited till a month and then start calling because this is when they started to have um, a lot of feature that's already developed and it's easier for me to see. And also I didn't have time to go through it every week and there's no point because I don't have like 500, 1000 fries to take care of. So this is not an issue for me. Um, and also ratio wise, usually um, if you can get one good fish out of 10 fries, that's a pretty good outcome I would say. So aim for that and you'll have a really good quality fish. And also keep in mind that you want to call for the fish that you want to keep. So make sure that you have it in your vision that this feature is what I want in a fish. And then just keep calling for that trait. Now the second way to call for goldfish is side view. This is when you need to have a tank. Um, and this is very crucial because this is how you can see the confirmation from the side and you can see a lot of features that you cannot see from top view. So for example in this fish that you can see it has a pretty good confirmation I would say because the fish doesn't have a really long stalk. Stalk meaning the connection between the round body to the tail. You don't want to have a really, really long stalk because that just makes fish look more like comic goldfish not like those fancy tile. 
uh, type goldfish. And then the second thing you want to look at is the curvature of the um, the caudal fin. You want to make sure that the the top line of the caudal fin is actually pointing upwards instead of like a straight line, continuous straight line from the back. This is because when goldfish grows bigger, their tail gets bigger, and if the fish doesn't have a really strong stock and and um, a pointing tail, their tail can start droopy, drooping down when they grow bigger, and that's not going to look pretty. So you want to make sure you have a fish that has short stock and um, a caudal tail that's pointing upwards. Sorry, in this video I'm just trying to find a fish to show you an opposite example, I guess. Um, Alright, so I see this fish. So if you look at the fish in the background, the tiny little fish in the middle in the background, as the fish swim closer, I'll be able to explain to you why I will call this fish. Just follow that fish. Um, <laughs> so this fish um, has a pretty long stock compared to the previous one that I showed you. And, and if you look at the caudal fin, the fin, the, the caudal fin is not really pointing upwards. It's more like a continuing line from the back. So once the fish grows bigger, the fish is going to have a really long body with a long stock and the tail is going to droop down. And I'm pretty sure this fish also have a really um, close up the tail from top view. So this fish is definitely a cull. I would not keep that fish. Yeah, it's swimming closer now, you can see. And then another thing that you can start calling for beginning at one month is their dorsal fin and um, the anal fins, especially the anal fins. Um, so some goldfish will have um, single anal fin or asymmetric anal fin. It's getting more and more like common in fish that you can find on the market nowadays. And it's a pretty hard trait to get rid of once it start running in your line. So if you see a fish with only one anal fin or asymmetric anal fin, then get rid of that fish because once that fish reproduces in your line, it's just that trait is really hard to get rid of. And another thing that might be easier to call for when the fish grows bigger is the dorsal fin. Um, some fish have droopy dorsal fin or like curved dorsal fin. You don't want that. You want an upright dorsal fin. And um, look for that as well. Um, it might be easier to call for later on. Um, so those are two other things that you can call for. And then lastly, as a continuing work, um, in the future, maybe every couple of weeks, um, you should call for the type of fish that you're breeding. For example, if you're breeding telescope fish, then you want to call for um, the characteristic features of the telescope fish. And you can refer to my goldfish standards series. Um, I'll be talking about different goldfish standards for different type of goldfish. And um, so that's all. This is a pretty detailed video. has a lot of information. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. And please subscribe to my channel. And I'll be posting more videos about goldfish keeping. And yeah, if you have a thousand goldfish fries to work on, this should give you enough work to do over this long weekend, I guess. So I'll see you next time, bye.